whiskey. Oh, man. Hello, traveler. What can I do you for? I already said whiskey. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, let me tell you a little uh, funny story about that whiskey. <laughs> it's hilarious, really. Well, since this was a dry county, we are only serving beer. But it's the best beer you can get at this bar. There you go. Drink up. <laughs> Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, you know what? Funny story about that whiskey. I've heard tales of it, but never actually seen any in real life. Well, if only we had a fella that would come and pour us some whiskey. Well, that'd be real nice. Yeah, I see a nice fine English gentleman. He was in this bar. He comes here every day. It's a real, uh, Real fella of a man. He always tips the bartender real kindly. <laughs> well, you all enjoy that beer. I'm gonna head on out back and uh, restock some of these shelves. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. I've been out on the trail a long time and I could use a sure nice glass of warm no nay <laughs> nary some cold beer to calm these nerves of mine and refresh my tongue and get me rehydrated again bartender <laughs> yes sir yes sir my name is Ainsley Barnes thank you for asking sir I'll take a nice fresh cold one <laughs> yes sir yes sir this is very good mm-hmm not quite like they make it here overseas in my homeland, but <laughs> it sure is nice, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, well, look at who the fresh trail of the cow dragged in. That's <laughs> Jack! Jack! It's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Well, Jack, before we get too much into your backstory, have a beer. It's on me, sir. Well, cheers. Cheers, sir. Have a drink. Mm. Nothing like some good old Adam's Ale to wet the whistle? Yes, sir, yes, sir. That's a swallow I'll remember. Probably not, but, you know, <laughs> you know what they say. Well, oh, good heavens, can you believe the upkeep of this place? Ah, uh, you don't know what they say, do you? They? <laughs> well, uh, well, sir, my name is Ainsley Burns. It's a pleasure to meet you. Absolutely. Once again, I didn't tell you my name the first time, so I thought I'd tell you it the second time. And it's Jack. <laughs> yep, Jack. Well, you know, Jack... That is not a way that we introduce ourselves overseas. Tell me your last name, sir. Well, see, I'm, I'm, I'm Jack Daniels. <laughs> Jack Daniels? Yes, sir. Now, that is a peculiar name. I'm sure that is not a name anybody will ever remember. <laughs> it's so simple. Well, but, you... you know, anyways, what have you been out on the trail doing? It looks like you're pretty dusty. Well, you see, sir, I've been trying my hand at a new trade and... Well, it's taking quite the energy out of me. Ah, okay. What have you been doing? Well, you see, back in my hometown, Tennessee, mm, my, Tennessee. My, my daddy and my granddaddy before him, they were cattle farmers. Ah, and you yes. see, I just, I just wasn't really about that trade, and so yes, sir. Uh -huh. I decided to try my hand in a new profession. Ah, new profession, eh? Well, you know, that's a pretty, uh, <laughs> if you ask me, that's a pretty unwise decision to leave everything that you've been doing out on the farm. There's steady income and a nice family and, you know, it's like you had your whole life laid out for you and you just threw it all away for what? What are you doing that's better than that? You see, sir, I'm not quite sure I'm getting what you're poking at. Ah, I'm not quite sure I understand what you're saying. I don't know the vernacular of this country. Well, you see, I've, I've been trying to get into the, the beverage industry. The beverage industry? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yes, the beverage oh, industry. It's, a, uh, um, it's but like we don't have enough good beverages already. Well, I'm glad you have gotten quite the kick yeah. out of it. <laughs> You've tickled me pink. Yes, you have, sir. Well, it's about time I check the time. You know. Um, <laughs> I bet you've never even seen the likes of this. Those, sir, are numbers, and these are the time. Nice. And look at that, it's almost 5 o'clock. But, not here, but you know what they say, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. somewhere. So, ah, you do now. <laughs> well, drink up. <laughs> chat. Well, it's been a good chat, but cheers. And, you know, it's time you get on out of here. I'll take the rest of your beer, and it's been a good chat. But, hey, listen, good luck with your beverage industry. <laughs> Uh, that'll, uh, well, you know what? He'll do well. He'll do well, sir. Now, get on out of here. Alright, alright. All right. <laughs> well, I can't say the company yeah, was uh, that terrible. It was great, sir. Yep, yep, you're yeah, very good. Yeah. Adios. Poor chap. His, uh, his career, it'll, it'll never take off. But, who am I to say? <laughs> what do I know? An educated Englishman. <laughs> who I say? Sure has been a lot of time. I think I may step up. Ah, oh, well, who might this be? Have a seat here, miss. Well, hello. Miss Amelia Carrington III. <laughs> ah, it's a pleasure. Pleasure. Have a seat. Well, I do I say. say I have not seen the likes of another, uh, how do I say it, a person across the seas. Across the pond, I Across the please. pond, yes. See, just... I've been in this land for too long. <laughs> yes, this place does make crass people of us all. Ah, yes, well, I do sure appreciate having another likes of an Englishman, or woman, to say, As sitting next were. to me. Yes. Well, uh, I have just had the most uh, peculiar conversation with a boy named Jack. Jack Daniels. <laughs> My goodness, what yes. a name is that? What a name. Not very much of a name, and one I say probably will never be remembered. These Yanks, I swear, yes. don't know their asses from their faces. <laughs> yes, Yanks are Yonkers. I call them one or the other. <laughs> My goodness, don't even know what a cup of tea is. I have to kill a man just to find a... Ah, uh, yes, well, of course. Uh, bartender, I hesitate asking you this, because I don't think you'll... Please me, but may we please have two cups of tea, sir? Yeah, we don't serve tea here, and I don't even know what that is, but we do serve grog, so that's what you'll be getting. Not exactly tea, but it is grog, so it's something it shares in common with tea, the fact that it is a moisture. Yes. Yeah, Just. I think I may pass on that one, but it is nice to look at. Maybe not either, but oh well. So anyways, miss, uh, I do have a very amazing story. I say, miss, have you ever heard of Buster the Man? Why, no, not all my life. Ah, but I bet you've heard of Billy the Kid. Oh, yes, that horrible scoundrel. He does so get my knickers in a twist, though. <laughs> Can't say the same. But he sure is uh, a nice-looking lad, from what I hear. The story of Buster the Man starts at a bar uh, where he made one poor decision that ultimately changed the rest of his life. Bartender, I'd like a splash of whiskey to wash the trail dust off my gullet and keep my singing voice in check. Well, that sure is illegal here. Oh, uh, it's in Dry County. Well, what are they drinking? Ah, uh, they're drinking whiskey. They, they're outlaws. Well, I too have been known to violate a few of the statutes of man and also a few of the laws of the Almighty. You ain't no outlaw, and we don't drink with tin horns. I mean, you're no outlaw. You're just a chubby farmer. You get out of here, boy. Don't turn your back on me, fat man. Sir, it seems you're no better judge a human being than you are a specimen of one. Hey, 
that you just shot an unarmed man. Well, <laughs> he should have armed himself. Oh my, that buster was quick tempered. That's a surefire way to get yourself locked in a tower, I say. <laughs> yes, miss. But that buster, he wasn't made for a jail cell. And he quickly became an outlaw whose name was to reckon with. And he became known all across the West. Yes. But there's another key player in this story, and that is Albert Cotton. Oh. Yes, Albert Cotton was a long time good friend of Buster's. And he found himself in a similar situation in a bar, although he ended up having to deal with a problem, and really it was an unlucky situation, but it also changed the path of his life. I quit. Well, howdy, gentlemen. Is this seat here taken? You sit there, you gotta play his hand. Well, uh, let's see, let's have a look here now. I'd rather not. You see the cards. You play them. Well, you see, sir, I don't see that you could force a man to partake in recreation. You see the cards. You play them. Well, now, sir. This fine establishment has a rule of no firearms, so I'd take kindly if you'd please remove your pistol and set it outside by your horse. And if I don't. You just killed our friend. Now, now, settle down. What he did was more in the nature of a suicide, as I see it. That's it. Get him. Wow, that Albert, he sure knows his way around a bar, if you know what I'm saying. Wouldn't want to come up against <laughs> that wanker. I do know what you're saying, very much so, as I'm saying it. But this Albert, he decides after his experiences and encounters at this bar that he needs to pack up and leave that old mining town where he's been for so many years. And besides, he misses his wife, and so he packs up the wagon and heads back home. As he rightly should. Now I'm Jolene. No one's ever met a woman like me. I think I need a theme song. Town, if it's not too much trouble, and if you won't rob and uh, kill me? Well, golly, miss, that's where I'm bound. What are you doing in these parts? Oh, what, what happened to me? Well, I was on my way to Sundown Town when my horse up and decided to stop living. How'd he die? Suicide. Stuck his face right in the water, couldn't get it out. Saddest thing I've ever seen, but, you know, we are in the West. Where do things have happened? Well, it happens. Well, you seem like an honest white gal. Why don't you climb on up here? Jolene. Um, so what business are you coming from? Well, I've been in the mountains yonder, panning and picking for gold the last 26 months. How's that been? It's been all right. I haven't had a whole lot of luck, and at least not enough to support my 
spending habits, gambling and such, if you take my meaning. Mm. So, why are you heading back now? Well, I got in a ramble with some real scaly boys at this saloon. It drew some heated eyes and tension that was quite unwanted. I decided it was time to head back to my hometown. Plus, I ain't seen the missus in what, 26 months. So you're married. Uh, what's the what's the lucky lass's name? Janet Cotton. Janet Cotton, really? She's from Sundown Town, right? Well, yeah, and that's where we're headed, Miss. Well, I'm good friends with Janet Cotton, except for. Are you now? She's not Janet Cotton anymore. She's in the dating world. She declared you dead. I'm so happy to see you alive no. and well. Impossible. Oh, I, I, I didn't know that you didn't know. You know, she actually seems quite happy. Impossible. Yes, I, I'm sure. She went out with my cousin Willie, you know, and you know, I don't think it's gonna work. He's, he's a couple plums short of a plum pie, but she's up on the level, if you know what I'm saying. In fact, she's got many suitors like, let's see. Well, there was Bob the blacksmith. Oh, he was fantastic. Her horse went lame the other day and he just fixed right up and then oh of course Jerry the carpenter <laughs> let me tell you his carpets match his drapes as far as I know oh my gosh you won't even know about Willie he took her down to the stream all right that's that's enough all right, okay all right let's play the quiet game oh oh miss this. this is our stop there Jolene or Jolo uh it's yeah. it's you best get on out of here now. Jo Jolene? Uh, you know what? Don't even be too down about Janet. You don't deserve her anyways. And so that brings us over to Willie. Now Willie is a man who... How do I put this? He has a little less brains than Braun. Well, he doesn't really have Braun either. Well, I've known a few of those Yanks. Let me tell you, good for a roll in the hay and not much else. <laughs> well, anyways... Willie was the man who started dating Janet, who Janet was Albert Cotton's wife, who, yeah, let's just say she wasn't the most faithful while he was off mining for the past couple of years. But uh, their relationship, let me just say, it didn't pan out too much. Claire, Janet, I sure am happy being here in town with such a beauty. Uh, you know, I never thought that I would uh, land a catch like you. And uh, Willie, we need to talk. All right, I love talking to you, Miss. I'm, I'm really sorry, but you're a great guy. Don't be sorry. I try to be a great guy. You're just very simple. Ah, uh, well. I, I need someone who's a little deeper. I think that's a positive thing. Me. Yeah, I, I understand you as much as my brain can. I don't think your brain can is the oh, problem. Well, okay. That's a little hard for me to wrap my head around, to be honest, miss. I know. Yeah. That's, that's why this isn't going to work. Okay. Okay. That's... Yeah, that's hard. Okay, I'll just find the positive in this. You know, I do really love trains. I know. Maybe I'll try to get a job as a train driver. All right, you do that. Okay, all right, so I guess we just go our separate ways. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the bar. All right, I guess I'll go down and see if I can put in a job application for a train driver. That's a good, good call. Okay. Uh, hey, Willis. Hey, Willie. Man, I just got back from, uh, I don't even, I don't even know what happened. What's wrong, Willie? Well, I was out on a date uh, with my girlfriend, and I think she may have dumped me. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't even know how I feel right now, but uh, I guess I just have to move on with my life. I don't know. Well, wasn't it just one date? 
Well, yeah, but she meant the world to me. <sighs> well, let me buy you a drink. All right, that'd be mighty nice. Mighty kind of you. Thank you, bartender. So yeah, miss, uh, what have you, what have you been up to, Willis? Well, this past year I put up a bounty for this guy, Buster, the man. Mm -hmm. And uh, since then, nothing's turned up, but we got a new deputy. He's kind of scrappy, but got a little faith uh, in him. Yeah, I think I saw that deputy when I was walking back from my breakup. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, well, oh, well, I sure hope you the best of luck, Willis, in finding, finding that outlaw, but... Yeah, it's it's been a rough ride for you and this last year and losing your dad and yeah. and also for me. But hey, when I'm out there, I'll keep an eye out. I'll ask for people's names and see if I find any busters and I'll let you know. Well, but, well thanks, Willie. Yeah, and in the meantime, I just appreciate your thoughts and yeah, I appreciate your support as a friend in my breakup and I'm really trying to work through things and you know, I think I'm making some slow progress. Yeah, it's like when my dad died, you know? Same yeah. deal. I lost, I lost my, the woman of my dreams. <sighs> but, you gotta move on. Push through. Just like, yes. push through. Like a cow giving birth to a really big one. Push through! Yeah, so, alright Willis, well... I think I've had my fill, but I'm going to head on out, but thank you for the drink, and I wish you the best of luck. I'll see you around, Willis. Anytime, Willis. All right. Thank you, bartender. Oh, oh Scarlett. Jolene, hello. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? Good, you know. <laughs> Same old business. Oh, well, it's lovely to see you. Lovely to see you as well. How are you? What's I'm, going on? Oh, wonderful, you know. My my horse actually died, but I, I got a ride in a wagon, so that was very exciting. First wagon for me. So. Wow, yeah, new technology. Yeah, what about Great. you? How are, how's the how's the business? Oh, wonderful. Just, you know, a couple. No, you, no, never mind. So, well, I must be going, but it was wonderful running into you. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Before you leave, uh, Morgan Stoneheart, he's oh. trying to kill you. Oh, yes. um, oh, really? Yeah, how I just thought I'd give you a warning. How are you aware of this? Oh, we hang out, you know. He's a lovely man, very sarcastic, but hilarious. Horrible person, though. Really should be killed. Yes, I stopped my business with him long ago. It got too far, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, well, it does go that way. A couple too many ales, and that's just the end of it. But... Well, it's been lovely seeing you, darling. Lovely seeing you, Jolene. Keep in touch. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Hope better for your horses. Oh, yes. Ooh. <laughs> also, where did you get this fine garment? Oh, you know that store next to the store of the mm. wife whose husband died and then she cheated with the oh, very, very yes. short man? Oh, yep. <laughs> crazy. Anyways, lovely dresses. You should yeah, go, come I, look. I, I'm going to go buy the same one. Huh. Oh, perfect. Right, goodbye. Oh, evening. <laughs> this is where it gets good. The very next day, Scarlet finds herself on the wrong sides of the tracks. Or on the tracks, rather. Uh, this is just too exciting. Let me just show you how this pans out. coming down these tracks about a hundred miles an hour. Well, I, 
Oh, oh Lord. Please. Uh, Do you have we need somebody to help. Uh, somebody, anybody help this mess. I can't, I can't get hit by this train. I'm sorry, man. So no, sorry. No, 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 no. Let, no, let go of me. Let please. go of me. Hey, go we'll get somebody. Hey, somebody help her. Help her. <laughs> I've been tied up and left to die. Miss, who did this to you? Oh, no, please, just get me out. All I'm... right, all right, quit your squealing. Uh, 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 don't worry. Uh, I ain't gonna cut you. Uh, there you go. I need to walk at least. I know, I need help. Ow! Ow! Uh, oh, thank heaven. Get away. Oh, you're my hero. Miss, uh, who did that to you? It was a short folk. Uh, Goatee, black bandana, tongue as sharp as the devil's pitchfork. He went yonder. That there describes Stoneheart. He's got a high price on his head. Tell you what, I'll meet you back at the saloon while I go get myself a bounty. Oh, okay. Morgan Stoneheart, I've been on your tail for a long time. Not as long as I've been on your mom's tail, you old raggy son of a bitch. Oh, you got jokes, do you? Be sure to tell those jokes to Lucifer for me and tell me how that goes. Is Lucifer the name of your sister? If so, I'd be much obliged. Oh, we talked enough now, haven't we? It's about high time we settle this. Janet! Hello! I have a bone to pick with you. Guess who I rode in with the other day? Albert. Your Albert. He's back? Well, apparently he's back, but I thought he was dead, so some kind of miracle there. I just hope he goes to stay with his parents. They live in a little shanty outside of town. Shanty? He was dead! What are you think? What? How do you even know he was alive? He left for two years. What was I supposed to do? Well, that is a good point, but you told us two weeks after he was gone that he died. He had his chance to stay. He just left me. Well, I don't know about all that. Are you still seeing my cousin Willie? Your cousin Willie, um, isn't exactly the sharpest thorn on the bush. So I had to let him down easy after a couple hours of talking to him. Well, if Willie doesn't do your fancy, you know I have that cousin George you don't. I need to leave. I'm so sorry. I'm actually late, but I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm. For women ain't supposed to ha learn how to read. Give you bad ideas and such. There's a picture on the cover here. And uh, I just like looking at the arrangement of the letters, you know? Well, I don't like it.
Morning, folks. Yeah, well, look who's finally up after the sun's halfway through the sky. Time that got it out here. That boy can sleep. I tell you what, he sleeps like a boy. Mm -hmm. Holy hell. Done it again. It done sure did. All I do is sleep, sleep, sleep. Hey, there's, your mom made some pig's ass and sweet cream if you want any. First, you better go out there and milk old Bessie. Her tits are getting saggy, and you don't want that stuff to turn to dust like your mother's. All right, I guess I need some exercise. Hey, but if something happens to me out there, can you guys do something for me, just once? I want you guys to switch seats. Damn it, Joel! You've been saying you're gonna fix that damn roof for ten months! You need to get off your lazy ass and stop drinking and smoking cigars all day! Man, can you just lay off my back for once? I work my ass off. You just gotta leave me be! The rain's gonna be coming, and there's not even a roof on this dang house! You need a good wash anyway! You're not anyway. gonna make it through the you winter! You need it, you do, god damn it, flipping gun. Hey, Buster! Uh, hey. Oh my god, Albert, you look terrible! Oh, well, there's that confidence boost I needed. How are you doing, buddy? Well, honestly, I'm a little worried about you. Uh, I haven't seen you in town in a week and a half, and seems like you're just staying in your house all day and sleeping. What? No, I, I don't. I don't sleep in all day. I go out. Uh, you know what I did on Tuesday? I went to Charlie Blanche's house and paid him that money I owed him, so he won't shoot me in the face. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that's not really what I'm talking about. All right. Well, the truth is, I just want to be here with my parents. You know, they're getting older, and I just want to be here to show them all the love and affection that I had growing up. Right, Dad? <laughs> Oh, are you getting the fart needles again, Dad? Never mind what I'm getting! <laughs> oh, I love him so much! Albert, listen, I know you're taking this, finding out your wife's with another man and cheating and, you know, just whoring around pretty hard, but listen, man, you gotta get out of the house. You, you haven't shorn your sheep in weeks? I'll get to those damn sheep. Do you wanna, you wanna get out of the house? I'll I'll get dressed. I'll meet you out in like 15 minutes or so. That's the spirit, Albert. Listen, I knew I just needed to come over here and get you out. I was worried about you, man, but listen, we'll get you back into town. You'll forget all about Janice or whatever her name was. I already forgot. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Buster. I just got to milk Bessie real quick. All right, let's go. Yo, cowboys ought to dust yourself off before you come in here. Shut up, pour me whiskey. Hey. Oh, the missus yeah. that I rescued. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't you worry about that mean Morgan Stoneheart. I took care of him. Pour um, one for the missus as well. Thank you. She looks like she can need one. Yeah. That's yeah. Very kind. Yeah, I dusted him off a little while back. I'm actually hunting bigger game now. Oh. You ever hear of a mean guy by the name of Buster the Man? Nope. Well, here's to his death. Anyway, missus, I never did get to asking you about your name. Uh, Scarlet's my name. Met that old Morgan folk out on the track and I turned him down. And no, he just he couldn't handle it, I guess. Alrighty, Albert. I think I'm gonna get a drink in this here saloon. Alright, then, you need do to wet my whistle. Alright. It's been pretty dry out I'm gonna go get my there. horse a whistle. Oh, yeah, give it a whistle. Alright. So, this next bounty of mine, Buster the Man, gonna be riding 200 miles to go get him. And you can bet your Spanish land grab that if a man rides 200 miles to get the job done, he will. Well, what's it in for you? What's he done? What are you drinking there, sir? I'll take Money, a, uh, Lori. Most of the I'll take an old bandwagon shag and tagging. We don't got that, but we got some old, um, some grog over here. Uh, all right, give me some grog. <laughs> Well, 
If Buster the man really is in town, better alive he's worth two hundred dollars on this table. More whiskey. Well, you can't kill what you can't catch. I've heard he's half horse, half devil. But well, maybe a strong Texas man like you could get him. <laughs> Are you really gonna kill Buster the man? Was a horse piss where she pleases? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the gun you're gonna kill him with? This fine beauty here? Yep. She killed, uh, Morgan Stoneheart. It's a mighty fine pistol. Mind if I touch it? Go ahead. Careful with that thing, you don't wanna shoot yourself. Hmm. Pass it back now, that gun there killed Morgan Stoneheart. Is that right? Hey, Barkeep, pour another round for everyone here. Pass it back now. Hey, Barkeep, how about another round for me and the lady? Hey, pass it back now. The way you struck it like that, it might as well be struck at a man's woman. Alright, there you go. Whoop! <laughs> Alright, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, you know, you best be running along now before you get hurt. Say, I'm leaving now, but uh, if I run across this Buster the Man out in the streets, um, can you tell me a little bit about him, and that way I can tell you if I see him? Yeah, well, he's a fine-looking fella. He likes, she's got a way with the women. Dresses like a dandy, what I hear, but... Right, he's fond of whistling sad ballads. So you find somebody out in the streets that fit that bill, you just come whispering to me now, okay? Okay. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Hey! I see him! Right, right there, look, look! I see him! <laughs> uh, is that so? You know, boy, I'm getting tired of your wise lip. You best get someplace else before I drop your bitches and spank your little bottom blue right in front of the pretty lady. Well, you sure are a testy little cuss, aren't you? Well, I'll be darned. Oh, it's you, how Sid. you doing? Hey, Sid, how's it going? How's it going, my yeah. man? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, listen, me and uh, one of my buddies, Albert, we're uh, we're heading out of town. Uh, we're just going over the mountains. We've got to got to get out of here. Um, you know, I don't want to get too in depth with uh, with that, but if you want to ride with us for a ways, you're welcome to. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll come along for a little, but uh, but you know, you know. My I mean my my like twenty best friends are in here and like you're my only other friend and I like I gotta stick with them. Yeah. Hey. This is my town. Alright. Sounds good. Well hey, come on with us at least for a little bit and you, right. can, you can meet my buddy Albert. I'll leave this here for my friends to watch. Actually I'll bring along. Hey uh Albert. Hey, hey. buddy. How's, yeah, it going? how's it going? Did you uh, wet your horse's whistle? Oh yeah, I got him a good drink of water. Oh good, alright. Hey, Albert, so listen, um, when I was in that bar, I ran into somebody that was trying to kill me. <laughs> Why, but, somebody uh, trying to kill you? Bounty hunter, I think. Um, took care of him. Is there though. a bounty on you? 
I'll tell you about it later. Just, we'll, I just don't want to talk about it in front of Sid, okay? All right. But anyways, this is my buddy Sid. Hey, get Sid, come here. Come meet Albert. Hey, come here. Howdy, Sid. Howdy, Albert. You look awful. I mean, like, look at your shoes. You're my chicken friends over there. Those are my best buds. Charming. <laughs> All right, Albert. You know, Buster, I really miss Janet. Yeah, Try well, that's what a woman will do to your heart. I tried everything I could to make her happy while well, I was around. Yeah. Well, what can you do? You just got to forget about her, man. Well, Buster, won't you whistle me one of your sad ballads? Oh, uh, no. Listen, I don't. that's not what I usually do, man. This is not the time. Oh, no. Here he goes. Oh, yeah. Hold this for me. Ah. I got a feeling called the blues, oh Lord, since my baby said goodbye. Lord, I don't know what I'll do. All I do is sit inside, oh Lord, that last long day she said goodbye. Well, Lord, I thought I would cry. She'll do me, she'll do you, she's got that kind of loving. Lord, I love to hear her when she calls me sweet daddy. Such a beautiful dream. I hate to think it all over. I lost my heart, it seems. I've grown so used to you somehow. Well, I'm nobody sugar daddy now, and I'm lonesome. I got the love sick blues. Love, I'm in love with the beautiful gal. So what's the matter hey, with Albert. me? What the heck? Let's go. We got to ride, man. Let's go. All right. I feel much better now. All right, Sid, you best be off, buddy. Ah! All right, I'll go see my chicken friend. I got here just what you asked for. Deputy! Beauty, ain't he? That ain't Buster! Well... That's <laughs> Willie! I just bought him a drink. What a waste. Oh, I say that's a classic mix-up. Well, you lay down there, buddy. What are we gonna do now? Find the right guy? Let's look at that wanted poster again. Buster, I gotta fix my stirrup, so. All right, sounds good. So, uh, Billy, how's your son doing? Ah, uh, you know, Billy, he's a kid, so, you know, just doing what kids do. But, yeah, no, he's, he's good, and just uh, raising him up. So I hear some rumor going around, oh, they're calling you Buster the man? Yeah, hey, I was meaning to tell you about that, so, um, yeah, I'm a wanted man now, and, uh, you know, it all started back when I was a, a bigger fella, had a big belly on me, and I was in a bar, and uh, this freaking dry county, they just, 
weren't giving me a drink and giving me a hard time and they had whiskey there but you know they just I ended up shooting a few guys there and took out a surly bartender and that was that now I'm a wanted man and <laughs> been on the run for a couple years now oh my word good heavens well, I wouldn't be surprised if I was wanted after my last time in a bar, in this old saloon. Well, guess I got nothing tying me down now that Janet's on her own gig. Yeah. We might as well head towards the border. Yeah, I've always been wanting to meet up with some compadres and... Old Mexico. And little Mexico and uh, some limes and white sand. I, and my horse would like rolling around in some nice white sand too, I reckon. Yes, sir. Toes right. in the water, ants in the sand, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what they say. All right. So, all right, let's, let's get on out of here. Yeah, head on down to the border. I hope you know how to get there. <laughs> oh well, it's that way south. Do south and uh, just keep riding out here. So, uh, Buster, how'd you get the name Buster the Man? Well, I'd ask Janice that question. Too soon, and it's it's Janet, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's still fresh. I'm just messing way. with you, man. This is a nice little town. Let's go see what I can find to drink. Hmm. You know, take it back. Old piece would have made it in a little more. But hey, you work with what you got, right? Let's go see what trouble I can find. Hey, Sheriff. Willis, what's the news? That's the problem, Sheriff. There isn't any. I put up these here wanted posters ages ago. Nothing. I'm getting kind of senile in my old age. You're gonna have to, um, you're gonna have to remind me what you're talking about here. Buster. Buster the man. The only wanted poster out here. What, that thing? Shoot, that's been here since before I was a sheriff. You know, back in my old town of Peacewood, I never let a man dodge between the willows for so long. I'm gonna prove myself. You know what? I'm gonna get that man. I'm gonna get Buster the man. Well, all right. I don't know how we're gonna find him, though, because it's been so many years, or however long it's been that I don't know what he looks like anymore. Could have shaved, lost weight. But I did hear about a shooting in a bar the other day. You know what? I think I heard about that too. In fact, I think I saw some people riding out of town the other day. Well, shoot. Could it have been them? It just might have been. You know what? I have an idea. Let's get some people together. Let's find my deputy. Hey, deputy, come here. We got a job to do. See, that one poster that's been hanging there for ages? Buster, I'm the new sheriff in town, and I can't let things like that just go. We gotta find old Gretel. I bet she knows where Sid is. See, he's this, uh... He's this, he's the best tracker I know. He's the only tracker I know. Well, that makes our options pretty slim, I'd say. Let's see what we can work with. Sounds fair. You piece of garbage. Uh, uh. Where's that drunk son of mine? Uh. Too old for this shit. You gotta be careful around old Gretel here. She's she's real sensitive about her son. All right, sir. So don't say don't say anything too rude or mean or you know. Kind of kind of keep it keep it down low. We're just, we're just looking for him. We're not trying to cause any no trouble. No suspect here. here. Exactly, exactly. In fact, there she is now. There she is now. Hey, uh, hey, old Gretel. Old Gretel. 
What? Sweet old Gretel, we've been looking for you. You gotta speak up, son. I lost my hair in the war. Sweet old Gretel, you see- It's Myrtle! <laughs> What'd that swine do now? I oh, see. In fact, nothing at all. It's, it's the opposite. We just need his help. Well, that just figures he's doing nothing at all. Drunker than piss, I say. Then the other day, he couldn't even pull himself out of the water trough after he dug his head for a drink when he was so drunk, couldn't pull himself out, and almost drowned. The horse had to pull him out. Smarter than him, pig swine. Piece of useless... I always told that boy he needed to make a name for himself. Never thought he'd make a name as the town drunk, but what are you gonna do? Useless. Now if you go and get him, he's down by the barn, but don't you bring him in the house. He smells like alcohol and piss. Ugh. I hate that boy. Ugh. Uh, there's that useless piece now, down by the barn. I'll take you to him, but I'm just telling you I'm not letting him in the house if he's drunk. Smells like alcohol and piss. Don't want that near my petunias. Ugh. I swear. Nobody cares, you rat bastard. I care. I don't want to go to jail again. You talk to the sheriff. It's not up to me. Hey, hey man, in fact, you're not in any trouble. In fact, it's the opposite. It's the opposite of trouble. We, uh, we, need, we need your help finding someone, Sid. Who? Just, uh, just this troublemaker who's been around lately. All right. In fact, in fact, we can even pay you. So you can buy more of that, uh, whatever it is. This year, I actually don't know what it is. Bartender hits me up every now and again. Right, some of that special moves, huh? Anyway, well, there's money in it? Well, of course there's money. She's put a bounty out. I'm guessing she's got money to... How to much? ...for tracking skills. How much? And we'll have to discuss that when we get to the... When we get to the actual, uh, find enough it. We can give you a little fee up front, if you will. Well, well, I don't know. I've been, I've been pretty busy here, laying around, drowning myself in, uh, the, the trot. Well, where do you reckon oh, we're going? Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, oh. Now hold on a minute. Do you even know what you're doing here? How do you know they went this way? Well, well, when I licked that rock back there, I could, I could taste it. You lick two Hello. quarter horses, two white men, on two quarter. You know horses. the skin color from tasting the rock. Yes, sir. No, no, no. I just knew that from the wanted sign. <laughs> Fair enough. Who hired this guy again? This poses. He doesn't know what he's doing. I don't think he knows a damn thing from licking that rock. How could he? Except how dirt tastes. See now looky here. You got one quarter horse. You got two quarter horse. Onward. All right, let's settle here for the night. Sounds we'll fair to me. Continue our tracking business in the morning. Whew. 
I was about to recommend we take a breather ourselves. Oh. Hear that creaking? Oh, joints ain't used to this anymore. Whew. So, how far you think Buster's gotten by now? No way of telling. Except yeah. for our tracker. We'll get him, don't worry. He's, he's not too far off. Who Couldn't have gone far. Who am I tracking for you again? Buster. Buster the man. Buster the man. Do you want to know? Whoa, me? whoa, whoa. I, mean, I can't. You saw his wanted posters. He, Buster, Buster's my friend. I can't. I, I get it. Boy, you're just backing out now. We need you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. You cannot leave now. Buster's we gotta my find friend. Buster. I'm sorry, Buster. No. You're messing with the law, boy. Wait, wait, wait! Hold up. We can talk this out. We can talk this out here. Look, look, look. My condolences for your friend who, well, I'm going to kill, but. You see, we're the law, and if you're going against us... Nobody cares about no stinking law. Oh, that hurts. Well... <clears throat> looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Whoa! Deputy! Dang it! Buster takes another one. We'll get that Buster, you watch. Man, I tell you, Buster leaves nothing but death and destruction in his wake. We'll get him, I'm telling you. I'm sorry about Deputy. Ah, it's okay, that was my sixth one this year. I know. Well, we'll get Buster. Make him pay. <sighs> so, um... This guy we are, we're after, um... What was his name again? Buster. Buster. Buster the man. Buster the man. From what I hear, he's good with the ladies. But he killed my father, so... I guess it can't be that good. Mm. You know... Back in my... Back in my town of Peacewood, where I'm from... Mm. They say I never let a criminal go. I caught every single one of them. I'll get this guy, don't you worry. Buster the man. I'm coming for you. Buster the man, he's a good old friend, but he killed my father in cold blood. He rests in a tombstone when we're done with him, and he won't see another son. It sounds familiar. It's like a, like a common tune of sorts. Oh, Buster, you're a dead man, but you're good with the ladies. And from what I hear, you're dressed pretty dandy. Buster, you're a dead man, I'm coming for you, man, oh Buster, the man, you won't be a man much longer. Hey Albert, what's up? Last night, I had a little secret to tell you when I went to that bar. Oh yeah? Yeah, I was talking to this old mistress of a woman and all of a sudden Ooh, like, whoa we're taking fire we're taking fire you get up the mountain get up there and start shooting I'll get, I'll get the horses loaded up cover me Gotcha. 
Megan, I'll get you, Buster! Think you can get away in my town? I'll show you! Cover me! They're taking heavy fire. How many of them are there? I got ya! It's jam, dang it! Albert, we're taking up a heavy fire. I think his gun just jammed. Hey, I'm gonna get to higher ground here. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna have to make a quick run for it. Get ready to toss me on my rifle. Ready? One, two, three. Now, now. Oh. Damn. I think I hit something there. Oh. Hey, Buster! Yeah? I see you got Albert Cotton down there with you. Yeah! He's down here with me! Hey, Buster! Albert Cotton ain't with you anymore, is he? <laughs> What did I tell you? I told you it would get him, didn't I? Woo! I haven't seen action like this in years! This old boy still got it! One left, you ready? Let's get him! End of the line for you, Buster. Guess it's the end of the line for you, Sheriff. Oh yeah. The other thing is, there ain't no lines in life. Just, just circles. So that is the conclusion of the story. I never really did quite understand what Buster was getting at, that life being is full of circles. But, hey, that's what he says. Perhaps what he meant is just that life has no beginning or end, it's just an endless cycle. Endless cycle of life and death and again and again. Ah, that's an interesting point. Although, I don't know if I buy it. Ooh. Well, you know what I don't want to buy? This horrible brew. <laughs> Barkeep! Well, you, you'll have to buy it, I think. I'm not buying it. Sir. Well, I am not paying for this swine, and as a proper Brit, I know that you shall not pay for me. So, <laughs> I shall just first go find the barkeep myself and throw this swill in his face! Yes, well, you know me well. Ah, I think I may circle. Circle back to the pond as well. I heard of a thing called an automobile. As a uh, steel horse, so to call it. And I'd like to, you know, feel the likes of that power underneath my legs. Well, bartender, I'll uh, also be leaving this drink for the next weary soul that travels in. <laughs> Buster the man is a good old friend, but he killed my father in cold blood. He'll rest in the tombstone when we're done with him, and he won't see another son. Oh, Buster, you're a dead man, but you're good.
Hallelujah.